going on everyone welcome ravage here and today i'm going to show you how you could double possibly triple your gpu mining profits and we're going to be utilizing chlore ai so over the past i guess three years as we know gpu mining profits have been pretty much non-existent now over the past couple months they have been slowly picking up but they still aren't quite there so today we're going to be showing you how to double up them crypto mining profits with today's sponsor Clore AI. So the first thing you are going to have to do is simply just make an account and then you'll log in. You'll come to this right here. I have nothing set up. We are starting from absolute scratch and I'm going to show you a fast and easy way to get this all set up. So the first thing we're going to do is come into the marketplace here in the top tab, click on that, and then it's going to load up and bring us into this part right here. So we're going to go into my servers here. So my servers, this is where all the magic is going to happen and we're going to start implementing our rigs into hive os to get rented at more profit here so we're going to click on mass onboarding here before mass onboarding please read this article and there is an article available i will link it down in the description but it'll go through everything about chlor ai mass fleet and how everything works and options and so on we'll go through some of the major key points here but if you really want to know everything go through this article it has a lot of information for you but we're going to go with hive os so we're simply going to click on hive os right right here and then we're going to pick a pricing model there's either static or mining profitability base now this is huge depending on your rig so if you're running octa miners nothing with you know that good of a cpu in it and you know 12 card rigs six card rigs and so on you're going to want to utilize mining profitability base and that's what we're going to use in this video now static this is if you're currently have a bunch of rigs say possibly on warthog or you're doing ai rentals coming in from vast or something that's where you're going to run static where maybe you're running rigs with 7950Xs mixed with 4090s. Maybe you got some epic CPUs out there mixed with 4090s, 3090s, you know, the big bad boy CPUs and GPUs. Then you're going to be using static here and you're going to get into a lot higher profit ranges, but it's going to use quite a bit more power as it's going to be using full TDP of everything depending on the rentals and what it's for. So in this case, we're going to be going to mining profitability base, clicking on that. And now we come up to this screen all right and when you go back you can keep changing this at any time so coming into our configure offer specific so here we have on demand price multiplier as well as a spot price multiplier so spot price is like a bidding wars people can outbid people and get your rig away from other people where on demand that's where things could get really busy here and someone can actually pay an x amount and have their rig dedicated for themselves so at this point you do want to put this one higher because someone will really want some rigs here and they want that dedicated hash to make sure it's theirs i have this at 4x so earlier i said you know i'm going to show you how to get 2x possibly 3x the profits here if someone rents it on this because they really want your hardware for an x amount of time this is potentially 4x of what your mining profits will be so that's pretty darn good here and then for the spot price i have it lower at just 2x which means if someone rents this, I should be getting double of what I would be getting normally mining whatever coin I'm mining at the time. Now, maximum rental length here per hour. So I set this to about 100 hours just to test it out, see if someone pulls in a 100-hour rental or something like that. And then we're going to move on. We have three separate options here for all our overclock settings and overrides. So this first one here is override offer specifics on each minor reboot or change of configuration. So coming into what it kind of says about this is with this option, you won't be able to edit server prices through the Clore AI website after onboarding. Price adjustments will only be possible by changing your unique authorization token set as a wallet address on the Hive OS platform. So you're going to have to reset your auth token, which is down here. Obviously, I have a blurred out so you can't see any of this stuff because then if someone gets a hold of this stuff for you, they could possibly get into your account and do some malicious things and so on, possibly anyway. So it is blurred out. This is mine here, but this does change based on the option that you do pick i do think second one and third one nothing changes but if you use the override option it is slightly different here but we're going to leave that blank here because we want to be able to change things whenever we want and auto change based on markets and so on 
Second one here is use overclocking and power limits from HiveOS for orders by default. So this is what's gonna keep your overclock settings from HiveOS on your GPUs. If you choose to click this, that way it'll all stay. Now, if you don't use this, people that rent your stuff could be maxing out your power, full DDP, you could be blowing up breakers, power supplies and everything, depending how you have your rig set up here. This is only used or not used if you plan on doing AI. That way people can get the full power of your hash rate, pay you more money for it, but you will have a much higher power bill as well as high temperature. So make sure everything is cooled properly if you do not want to use this. So I am going to be using this one because I'm going to be keeping my Hive OS overclocks in here and I'm just going to be renting my stuff out for other crypto miners. We're not doing any of the crypto AI stuff out there. And here we have keep Chlore AI running even when miner disables read article. So this is an interesting one and it comes down to if you're possibly in a Leo miner or something. So what this option does is it allows you to remove Chlore Fleet from the flight sheet as it will still be working in the background. That means it's not using up another custom miner space. As you know with Hive OS, you cannot run two custom miners. So this will allow you to run a custom miner for a Leo and then run Chlore fleet in the background so you can continue to rent it here but at that point you're also going to have to set like a static pricing structure here because it doesn't really pick up the profitability and stuff for that so you can do it that way here but it also sounds like hive os will be implementing chlor ai very very soon so depending when that happens it won't even be using a custom miner sheet very very soon here but again a leo could be gone by that time because the asics are about to hit sometime in january so it's very interesting we don't know how it's going to play out on when chlorine AI gets implemented versus when a leo mining gets hit by the asic so it will be going straight into a normal hive os flight sheet very very soon so it's also designed for miners using custom settings which we already kind of went through here such as mining a leo and if you enable this option and later wish to remove chlor fleet from your server run the following command so if you enable that and it's no longer running you can't remove it from your flight sheet anymore you're actually gonna have to use this command ssh into your rig and erase it manually to a, to get rid of Chlor AI. So if you're not mining a Leo, you can leave that you know pretty much blank here. The only option I'm going to be choosing is use overclocking and power limits from Hive OS for orders by default because I'm just I want my overclocks to stay on there. I don't want people to blow up all my rigs and use all my power up here and make things super expensive and Jarell is running super hot. Maybe some of you guys want to do that because winter is right around the corner. But I don't plan on mining a Leo right now anyway. If I want to, I'll just come back in later and change it. So. All we need right now for basic crypto mining rentals, unless you're mining a Leo, is use this setting right here. So now we gotta make our Hive OS flight sheet. So I'm gonna come in, simply copy this right here. I'm gonna come into my workers here, come into my flight sheets, and then I'm gonna come in and just wait for a second here. Now we're gonna go to clipboard and simply paste that in like so. We're gonna allow that. And now we have all this set up. So now we're gonna come in and add our wallet. This is actually your special auth token. So I'm gonna add my wallet here. I'm gonna come back into Chlor AI and copy my auth token. Come back into Hive OS, paste all of that in right there and name this. I'm just going Chlor.ai. Auth. That's what I'm going to call it here, and I'm going to create that right here. And now for miner, that is set up in the custom miner. If we come into here, it has all the information we need already in there. We don't need to apply any changes or anything. So I'm going to name this flight sheet right away quick. So I'm just going to call this uh, Excelis Chlor AI because I'm going to be mining Excelis while I actually have this Chlor AI in. And hopefully we get some rentals and we're making quite a bit more than just mining Zealous here. So we're gonna have to add a miner here so that we can get up and running Zealous. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys know how to mine Zealous already. If not, check my how to mine Zealous video. Uh, but here we're gonna put in Zealous right here. We're gonna pick Excel as it is now added into Hive OS. Pick our wallet, GUI note is what mine is. Select my pool. I'm gonna go with Hero Miners here and then I'm gonna select USA West. Apply those settings for our miner. We're going to go with Regal Miner, like so, and that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to create that flight sheet right here.
Now the next thing I want to do is prepare my worker. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of mixed rigs and stuff in here, and it doesn't matter what GPUs are in this. The profitability calculator is actually coming from hashrate.no, and it is per GPU. I went and asked him the question because I wasn't sure if you needed the exact same rig or was basing off rig profitability or anything. It is based per GPU from hashrate.no numbers. So that's why, you know, mixed rigs and everything will work here but the first thing i do want here is i want to make sure i'm on the latest beta version i always use beta version on my hive os rigs as the latest versions latest drivers everything is the latest so i'm just going to come into here and we're going to go web shell like so your default username and password unless you change it is user and then one and now i'm going to simply come in and go hive replace and then i'm going to go list and I just want to go through the numbers, see exactly what they all are here. And we can see latest beta is number two. So I'm just going to hit number two here. Then I'm going to hit yes. And then I'm going to wait for it to install the latest HiveOS beta, just in case, because I'm not sure if I'm on it exactly or I'm on the previous beta version. But this will make sure you're on the latest everything. All right, so that update is complete. Now we're gonna have to update all our miners and get to the latest version of everything. As you can see, there is going to be a crap ton here. So you're gonna wanna force your update and reboot after complete. Now, once this is done, I always like to manually reboot my rig as well by going to the reboot. Don't do it yet while it's downloading or anything. Wait till it does complete and then do a manual reboot. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I always like to just do it as a safety feature to make sure everything does get implemented. All right, so once everything Everything's updated and ready to go. We're just going to come into our flight sheet right here. Scroll on down and we can see Zealous Chlor AI, Chlor Hosting with Zealous. I'm just going to send that flight sheet to the moon here. Scroll on up and come into our worker right here. And now we're going to actually SSH into our rig. So we're just going to come in, click Miner, and we should see everything start to download here. If you're not sure how to get in your SSH, simply come into here and click Web Shell followed by your username and password. Default username is user, password is one. Now you can watch everything download here. Now you're just gonna wait. It could take quite a bit some time depending on your internet connection. And then it should begin mining here. So as you can see, I am getting a bunch of errors here. Now there is a command to fix this, but I do wanna go and get the stable version first. Just that way I can bring to light that you guys make a nice easy version to you guys get up and running. So the beta version right now is looking like you're gonna to have to do a little bit couple extra commands here manually to get it to work. So I will swap it over when this is done to the stable version and see if these errors still persist or not. Now I do want to point out as this is downloading, which we can still see it's going through all its stuff, you are mining Zealous. So you can go in, check your power, see how everything's looking like at the wall, your power supply, see if anything's out of whack, your overclock settings and everything are correct or not. All right, so even in the latest Hive stable, I was getting the same issue. So I went back and I saw Mining King's video and he said to hit control C, which does eliminate the process of everything that's going on. It cancels it and it brings you out of MOTD watch. And now you gotta run the command sudo apt install gpg and what this command does is this will install gnupg packages which includes the gpg command line tool so it's looking like our hive versions are missing some of the tools that it needs to actually install this so once we do run this it should begin to start working again so now we're going to let this install everything it needs to install so now I went back into MOTD Watch and we can see that it is now starting to set things up and download things properly. So if you are getting that error, that is the fix and everyone head on over to Mining King and give them a big thanks for pointing out this command. Now, if you don't know how to get into Hive Shell or MOTD Watch, simply come into Remote Access and instead of going to Web Shell, which we can see is working all fine now, uh, you just simply click on Hive Shell Start. It's going to run this for a little bit. It'll take about anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds, depending on your system and everything. But once it's all done here, simply click on it and then click right here. This enables Hive Shell and you're allowed to go deeper into the root system of Hive OS and run commands and things. So this is, you know, more access to your actually rig than what Web Shell does provide. And at this point, just type in MOTD space watch and that's how you get to this system right here. And now you can swap between your custom miner, which is one or Regal Miner, which is number two by simply pushing one or two at the top here. So everything is kind of slow on my internet right now, but everything does work. And that's how you can switch between the two miners.
All right, so everything is installed now. We're currently mining Zealous because we don't have anything up and running for hosting yet. No one rented yet. But if we come into our account, we can now see our one server here is detected here uh, coming into the marketplace. And then we'll just have a quick peek at my servers right here. We can see that the Octa Miner is here. It's all detected. It has our CPU 2 of 2. We can see it's currently mining Zealous and everything, our last hash rate. So everything is detected and working. Now we just got to wait for somebody to rent this rig and see if our profitability goes to the moon. So everything is set up as it should be. Now we just pretty much wait for somebody to rent our rig so we can get a quite a bit more profit here. Now, one thing I want to point out here is now because we did not check this one off right here, override offer specifics on each machine reboot or changing configuration. So remember we looked at that earlier. It won't allow you to change your stuff until you get a new key and everything. So if we come back into here, we can now adjust prices on the fly if we want because we did not check that. Now, one thing I want to point out, if you want to change your maximum rental length, you can't get rid of the first one. It defaults to six. So say you want 24 hours, you have to put that in first and then go back and erase that six because right now you can see like it won't let me go anything above that type of thing. And it looks like there is a maximum here of 1440 hours so yeah so one point out i'm just gonna go 24 hours here see what happens if someone will rent it or not now when we hit the apply you're gonna get this so you can disable the automatic pricing we don't want that firstly we want to set the rental settings which is what we did right here then re-enable the automatic pricing so click on that and that'll do the changes here for you now i'm just going to come back in and apply those settings but here now we can come down here and we can adjust this say you're not getting rented you can put this down to like 1.4 or 1.5 play around with all your settings make things you know a little bit cheaper so that people will want to go into and mine this obviously demand isn't very high right now so you might have to set it a little bit lower but when things pick up you might want to turn it up you know two three four five x or something when crypto prices start pumping and stuff that way you can get a lot more profit in there but i'm going to apply my settings now 1.5 see if i can get some renting and stuff happening here but right now you can see currently not rented this will say rented once it is there and it'll tell you what it's rented by either on the demand right here or on the spot price so depending on how they rent it that will show up right here as well now one thing i did notice maybe it's just tracking your first or second or some gpu but this is actually saying i have a 12 by rtx 3060 ti rig now as we know, that is not the case. I have a couple A2000s in here. You know, I have a 3090, a 3080, a 3070, and the rest are all 3060 Ti. So, you know, it is a little bit misleading. So it'll be interesting. You maybe pay attention to that when you're actually, if you're going out there to rent hash rate, if that's what rigs actually all are. But uh, yeah, so it's looking like it is telling me I have a 12 by 3060 Ti when I have a mixed rig here. Now, if I actually go into my rig here, Chlore AI is actually detecting all the individual rigs. So again, when you go to the marketplace, it'll be interesting to see exactly what all the rigs and stuff are here. So that is pretty much Chlore AI and Hive OS in a nutshell. It is pretty simple and basic to set up here. Uh, hopefully it does help you get more profit. So if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. Now, one thing I do want to go over, if you don't yet have a Chlore wallet, you don't need one to initially set it up but obviously you'll need one to get payouts depending if you're getting paid out with Clore payments or BTC payments. I got both of them enabled here. But to get your payments and stuff, it's quite easy. Just click on your little icon here for your dashboard or your profile and stuff. And if you're getting paid out in Bitcoin, people are renting for Bitcoin, you can simply withdraw it right here and then you send it to your Bitcoin address. If you're getting paid out in Clore, simply go to withdrawal here and then put in your Clore address right here if you don't have a clore wallet it's pretty simple click on the wallet tab here and there's a wide range of different wallets a windows wallet here we got a linux one uh, there is a web wallet so there's lots of easy ways to get a wallet going so hopefully this video did help you up and get up and running to clore.ai and help boost your gpu mining profitability thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one rapid out